Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to the live stream on another episode of Turn Back the Clock Tuesday. Tonight we are racing ahead to some newer years, or newer year to me at least, 2006 Top Series 1. Uh, can't say that I've ever opened a pack of these before, as I quit collecting in 97 picked it up again back in 2013, so I kind of skipped over this era of cards, but Series 1, there's not really any key rookies we're looking for, not too many at least, nothing major. So we're mostly chasing after inserts, autographs. Whenever I was growing up, that's what I was doing. Primarily buying packs, chasing insert cards, pulling insert cards out of like 93 Fleur Ultra and stuff was always such a rush to me when I was a little kid. So um, cool to go back and do a year that I've never opened and do the exact same thing, look for inserts. So thank you guys all for being here. Um, like I said, nothing really too crazy in series one for rookie cards. There is an Alex Gordon variant that uh, has some value to it. Uh, different ones, different variants of that card. Other than that, mostly inserts, autographs. Uh, there's a Topps 2K All-Star set, Barry Bonds, Home Run Chase insert set. Uh, of course, we have Topps Gold, Topps Black, Declaration of Independence. There's a good bit of them, so hopefully we see some of those tonight. Um, and let's get down to it. Waste no more time. We have four contestants, Robert M in top left, Jeffrey P. I think that's actually his first... Uh, Break with us. Joseph B, lower left, and Jonathan H, of course, lower right. And this is the first year they started doing the uh, rookie card emblem on cards. So, pretty cool there. But the um, no inserts, I don't think, listed on the actual back of here. So, let's go ahead and get started here. Check out, see what we can get. This break was pretty cheap to buy into. It was like $10 a stack. So nothing too crazy, but hope we get some crazy pulls though. The chance of pulling auto is like, I think for some it's like one in 500 some thousand. But we did, if you guys watched uh, the last newer tops break we did from 2005 tops total, we pulled two printing plates and an auto and the odds were pretty crazy on those. So that's pretty sweet. Colin Hirsch says, when are you doing the next auction? I uh, haven't thought too far in, ahead on that yet. Not entirely sure, but uh, there's probably one coming up sometime soon, I think. I'm not going to do too many of them, but uh, periodically we'll have them here and there. And two hours super chat, Chad Hawkins, before we get started here, says, pull some buck, John, hot hands, jabs. <laughs> Thanks, Chad Hawkins. Really appreciate that. Maybe we'll see some buck show water cards tonight. We'll start off with Robert M. On the top left. Looking for these. 10 cards per pack, 36 packs per box. Paul L says, I definitely opened several of these when I was six years old. Yeah, I, I may have opened uh, some packs of these um, through Eric years ago. Eric would give me baseball card packs for Christmas. He'd throw a bunch in uh, a package here and there, and he may have given me one of those before. Jimmy Mantle says, your 82 Don Russ box opening was outstanding. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. And to our Super Chat from Destro 13 covers is packaged to arrive for FMF. Hope you like Thanks a lot, Dash Grove 13 cover. I appreciate it. I just saw your emails tonight. I didn't get, didn't get a chance to respond yet, but I'll be sending you a response here soon and also an FMF response. <laughs> Joseph C. says, 2006, what kind of throwback is this? Gross? <laughs> Where's the junk wax? The junk wax will return again next week. Yeah, 2006 is the newest, probably the newest we'll do on this channel since we deal heavily in 80s and 90s cards. Joe Maurer, this is like a fourth year card. Uh, two dollar super chat. Autistic family collectibles has pulled a card for you an eighty one Fleer. I touch. I one touched immediately. <laughs> eighty one Fleer. Who could that be? Is it John Wathen? Thank you very much for that super chat, John H. Please check John H's channel out. Autistic family collectibles. If you have not, he's really close to a thousand subs. Very close to a thousand subs. No Maga Siapara, Barry Zito. Decent pack so far. Pedro J. Martinez, Zach Day. I'm not going to read all the names off. You know, I don't really do that. Clemens, but uh, so far, this first pack is pretty nice. Um, maybe I never have opened a pack of these before. And Kenny Rogers ends that pack out. Hey, 357 Maggot Ghostface and JW. Thank you guys for being here. Pack one down for Robert M. And a decent pack at that. Some nice stars in there. Hey, Lloyd Abraham. Thank you guys for being here. I love uh, doing this every single week, ripping back uh, these old packs. And these ones, I don't, maybe I never opened a pack of these before. I can't remember. Christian Guzman, Justin Morneau. Haven't seen any, and we have a first insert card here. 
the Barry Bonds home run chase card, 682. You may have seen the recent video I did uh, on the Sean Tiford collection where he sent us a bunch of these. Uh, A-Rod, I don't know if we had any Bonds in there or not. I can't remember. But um, A-Rod was definitely one of them. I'm not sure if it was 2006. might have been 08. But pretty sweet. First insert card. Hey, MGM. Welcome to the stream. And Joe Saunders. Rookie card emblem there. The first year they start doing that. So first insert here in pack two for Robert M. Brad Radke. Ichiro. It's a nice one. $2 super chat from 357 MAGA. It says, Chi Town Breaks is having an epic 2007 tops break. Thank you, 357 MAGA. Very nice of you to plug his channel on here. Please check out Chi Town Breaks. Billy Wagner, Lance Berkman. Another good pack here. And we have an insert card coming up already. Robert M. And Chad Cordero own the game card. That's pretty cool. I've never seen these for the Nationals. No numbers, nothing like that, but uh, very cool card. I'm not sure if any of you guys have seen those or not, but love finding these inserts in older packs. There's a dollar super chat and breaks and stuff. Thank you very much for that. Breaks and stuff, really appreciate that. Please check out his channel as well. He's growing quickly. I think he's getting near 1,000. Yeah, I can't say that I remember Chad Cordero too much, but uh, still like pulling inserts regardless. I used to get really excited about it. a bunch of team cards here. Twins, Blue Jays, got a lot of them in a row here in this pack. Rangers, White, the Sox, Yankees. You guys ever seen so many team cards in one pack together? That's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. And we have another insert card, a Mickey Mantle reprint here. Very cool. Wow. This first... Uh, this first stack is full of inserts already for Robert M. Very nice. I want to say we saw uh, a bunch of that card in the um, the, Ch um, the Sean Tiford boxes. Pretty cool. We have full five packs left here for Robert M. And I'd say we're doing pretty good so far. Wish I had uh, the odds in front of me here for some of these packs, but Russell Brannion. So Jeff Kenders, it's our first Topps gold card, Armando Benitez. Um, I think those were one in every 18 packs, I believe. Amar Vizquel, Eric Chavez, and it's a Chipper Jones with Marcus Giles. Pretty good pack there, overall, in this top stay in school cards. Hey, Boom Slang. And another Barry Bonds home run chase card coming up in this stack. Paula Duca actually picked up his rookie card not too long ago. 94 Bowman. There's the Bonds, 662. Walter Young, Robert Andino. And three packs left for the top left. I'd say so far, so good, though. And your mirror's on top there. Jeff Bloom. Another mantle. Same one, but still cool nonetheless. An Orioles team card. And a checklist ends that pack off. Dave Emms is one of you busting open 95 score. You know what? I was actually thinking about that today. Um, not sure when I'll be doing that video. Sometime soon, though. I still have them. I haven't decided if I want to try to do something to unstick the cards. I know the cards are going to be stuck together, and I don't, I don't want to have paper loss. Maybe a hair dryer to them? Because I've tried the freezer method. Didn't work. I think there's some foil in those, uh, those sets, possibly, so I want to put them in the microwave. Another insert card. Here we go. The Declaration of Independence, Samuel Adams. That's pretty interesting. It's one of the uh, insert cards is a piece. So I guess uh, you, all the pieces of this form the actual Declaration of Independence. Pretty cool one there. Not sure if there's any value to those or not, but uh, neat. Craig Bressler, rookie card. And the last pack for Robert M.,
Trevor Hoffman on top. We have another insert card. Looks like an own the game card. Barry Bonds, nice one. Troy Percival, rocking the mustache. Kind of a weird look to him. I don't remember him ever having a mustache in the 90s. Brian Giles. And it looks like our Hobby Masters card here is Derek Lee. Not a bad one at all. Cool looking card. Kind of looks a little like the own the game card we saw before. But uh, nice one there. Tory Hunter. Uh, who was it that sent me a patch relic of his on the last FMF? Pretty awesome. I can't remember. I think it was Daniel Hamilton. There's a nice Derek Jeter. Final card of the stack. A Jeter Gold Glove Award. Nice one. I'd say first stack down pretty good overall. Two mantles, a couple other insert cards. Some nice stars overall. That's the first one down for Robert M. Next one up, we do top right for Jeffrey P. Sick to see an autograph or something like that tonight because of how scarce they supposedly are in this set. Randy Wolf leads it off. And another mantle, each row. The same mantle we've seen twice now. Mark Teixeira, Gold Glove Award. And there's a nice one, Greg Maddox, the professor there. And a Michael Barrett and uh, Greg Maddox. Not too bad. Smokey J628 says, that's me, first ever break for me to buy in. Well, sweet, Jeffrey P is Smokey. Hopefully we can uh, pull some nice stuff for you here. First pack, pretty good though overall. Hey, Paige. Nice mantle. And looks like we have another uh, repeat Declaration of Independence card in here for you and your stack. Jose Mesa, Dan Johnson Gold Cup. This one's actually Samuel Chase. So a different piece of the puzzle here. As you can see there, the first one was Sam, Sam Adams. Corey Koski. And a few rookies there at the end. Gary Siegel says, need that John Hancock auto. <laughs> Pack number three. And we've got our Bonds card. I guess those are pretty common in these. Russell Brannion. AJ Pruszynski. Seen a couple of his already. Mark Teixeira. And there is the Bonds home run chase. 685. Cool card there. Edmonds Gold Glove Award. And Mayor Mears and David Ortiz. It's a cool one. Miguel Tejada and Melvin Mora. A decent pack there. Pretty good. Like, uh... I like those home run chase cards, those are pretty cool. Troy Gloss on the top of the pack here. Martin Rivera, nice one, Hall of Famer Martin Rivera. And another Mickey Mantle, the same one now, what is that, the fourth one, I think, in this break so far? Still not going to complain. At least it's not John Waffen, John Hudek, <laughs> Greg Swindell, or Bernard Gilkey, Larry Walker. Might get in the Hall of Fame soon. Dalton says, I grew up with this set. I have two binders full of just this series. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, like I said before, I think Eric may have got me a couple packs of these for Christmas one year, and I opened them and had no idea who any players were. Cool to go back through them and check them out again now. <laughs> Justin Roberts' 2019 Labor Day beer pong cards. <laughs> Carl Everett. Those will be very interesting. We have another insert in here. Frank Robinson. Manager card there. And it's a pool Hulse. Tops 2K All-Stars. Very nice. Albert Pujols. Haven't seen one of those yet. Very nice, almost chrome look to it. Like that one a lot. Going to Jeffrey P. Say you got a good stack here so far. Luis Gonzalez and Mark Redmond in that pack up. But very nice pool hauls there. We have a $20 super chat from Boom Slang that says, Just want to put this out there. Not one of the winners from my 500 sub giveaway. So I'll be going down the list in reverse order of selection until I get a response. And winners are found Saturday. I'll release 750 sub video. Thank you so much, Boom Slang. I really appreciate that, man. Please check out Boom Slang's channel if you have not yet. So it looks like 
you didn't get a winner for the 500 sub giveaway, so you're going down again and redoing it. So if you're interested in possibly being part of that giveaway, check out Boomslang. He's always putting baseball card videos out there. And uh, he just bought a big collection not too long ago. Really big collection. Curious to see what's in there. But uh, all around a uh, great guy, good friend of the channel. Check him out. Give him a sub if you would not mind. Help him get to his next tier of 750. Thank you very much for that boom slang. Another insert card here. It's Andrew Jones. Very nice. Andrew Jones, Holly Masters card. I like that one a lot. Tony Damon follows that. Francisco Liriano, rookie card. Good stack here so far, Jeffrey P. You got three packs left. I was really hoping that pool hall was going to be an auto there. My name is Greedy. Jimmy Rollins leads it off. Smoltz. And $2 Super Chat from SF Cards. And he is going for 600 subs. Thank you very much, SF Cards. I know I'm subbed to you. Please uh, click on that Super Chat and give him a sub. Going to 600. I think he's getting really close to 600, actually. Like, uh... We can definitely get him there tonight, guys. If you guys like baseball card videos, check him out, especially newer ones. Another Barry Bonds insert card here for 706. So that's the fourth one I believe we've seen. Andy Pettit follows that one up. Rich Hill rookie card. John Manuel says, I love meatball subs. Paul Elsa, I learned of a set today called Stars Behind Bars. Closest thing we may ever get to top jailbreak. Well, I've never heard of that set before. I'll have to check that out. We we're always joking around about uh, the prison relics, like Raul Mondesi and uh, Chad Curtis, etc. And another Mickey Mantle, the fifth one now in this box. That's pretty crazy. We keep seeing the same one. Ryan Howard, Rookie of the Year card. And the Verlander, uh, the fake rookie card is not in this series. Last pack here for Jeffrey P. Best of luck to you. Preston Wilson leads it off, and there's a nice one. Mickey Mantle, I didn't know he's part of the base set. Never seen that one before. Number seven, Kenny Rogers. A lot of these team cards in there. And we have Stephen Hopkins, insert card here for Declaration of Independence. Never saw those before until tonight. Ryan Garko, and that ends the stack out. I would say a good stack there, Jeffrey P. Some nice cards in there, especially like that Albert Pujols. Um... 2K All-Stars card. Joseph B., you were up next. Just got a package from you today in the mail, Joseph B. And I sent one out to you late last week. You should you should have got it by now. If you didn't, you should get it any day since you're so close. Maybe it was Friday I sent it out. I can't remember. Friday or Saturday. Joseph B., you're up, man. I think I saw Joseph B. in here earlier. Hey, Dante. Welcome to the stream, man. Thank you for stopping by. Some more team cards here. Riddled with team cards again, Indians, Twins, Blue Jays, Rangers, White Sox, and Yankees, followed by a mantle again. The sixth one now on the third stack. Sweet Joe Yankee. Hopefully, you got some decent stuff in there, like the packs. I'm running out of uh, different packs to send you. Hopefully, you got some decent cards. Hey, Justin. Paul Ellis is a team card for a new bad omen. Yeah, they definitely are uh, very rife in here. Another insert card coming up. Maybe it's an auto. Hopefully. Tory Hunter. There's an A-Rod, or some people call him A-Roid. Jeff Kent, Trevor Hoffman. Bonds, a nice star pack here. Topps gold card for Brian Roberts. I said before, there's a one every 18 packs. A Marvel Skill, gold glove card, and Eric Chavez. And the uh, tops of the class cards. H. Roy, get it right, says Jonathan H. <laughs> Pack three. Hey, thanks, Dante. I appreciate it, man. Pitcher says, don't, don't the manos the man have different backs? Um, I didn't look at the back of the first one. I'd have to go back and check, though. Edgar Renteria. It's another pool holes base set card here, and another insert, and it is our pool holes again. Holly, Ma Holly Masters card there, nice one for Joseph B, Johnny Damon, and Francisco Lear on a rookie card again. A 
Nice stack so far. Joseph B. Mark Teixeira. Roland Smoltz. More team cards. The Rays, Brewers, and Angels. And a Bonds Chase card. 697 for this one. Nice one there. Lots of inserts in this box. And any Pettit. <laughs> Pitchy says lots of road users in this box. No doubt about it. A fun box to open, and these aren't real expensive either. There's Mariano Rivera. For Series 1, I mean, you can get a box of these for between 30 and 40 bucks usually. So they don't break the bank, and they're fun to open, and they have a ton of insert cards. There's the mantle again for the seventh time, and it looks to have the same exact back. From what I can tell, could be wrong. I'll have to go back and look again. Ryan Howard, Rookie of the Year card. Humberto Quintero. Boom Slangs' mantles are four different home runs. Each is numbered on the front. Yeah, so I guess it's all this. I don't know why Tops would do that. Just make different looking cards in general. So you don't think that you're pulling the same ones over and over again. Hey, Shane B. Houston Street. Preston Wilson, there's a mantle in there for you, Joe. And another insert card, the Declaration of Independence. Sorry about the lighting. Let me change this lighting around a little bit so it's not so crappy for you guys with the glare. I'm uh, doing filming this in a different part of my house because my toy room is, like, completely trashed. <laughs> so, Art Morris, insert card there. Ryan Garko, rookie card. And we move on to the last three packs here. Move this down a little bit. Might be a little better for you guys to see. Joe he says, I like these. I definitely do, too. He said he never had them. I feel like it's so dark in here, though. Crap lighting. That looks like it's maybe a little better. I don't know. Adam Dunn on top. Chipper Jones. Nice one there. Lofted. No insert in this pack, it doesn't look like. Unless you want to consider the tops of the class. Card, insert card. Orlando Hudson. And uh, these spacer cards, basically. Might as well be. Two packs left for Joseph Baumgarten. Hopefully the pool... One of you guys, an auto or uh, pretty scarce insert card. There's a Mariners, team card, athletics, Red Sox, Christian Guzman, Justin Moore now. Another home run chase card here for Bonds for 664. Nice one. And Joe Saunders rookie card. So some doubles there we saw earlier. The last pack for Joseph B. Let's see some last pack fire here, hopefully. Johnny Peralta, I see an insert card in here. Might be a Holly Masters card again, Brad Radke. Billy Wagner, so some, some uh, repeats there. Not really necessarily bad ones. Lance Berkman. And it is not a repeat. It's an own the game card for Chone Figgins. Chone Figgins. Own the game insert. Can't say I remember Chone Figgins. What? Like I said, love chasing insert cards. My brother's in here. Hey, Eric. Paul else is pronounced like Sean, so Sean Figgins. Can't say I remember him. I'm not sure if any of you guys do or not besides Paul L. RM says his name was pronounced Sean. Final stack here, and we are on Jonathan H. Let's check out and see if we can uh, keep this insert streak rolling. RMM says that Sean Figgins was a speedster, like Billy Hamilton. We have an insert in the first pack here, starting off for Jonathan H. Raphael for call. And a Mariano Rivera. That's a nice one. Very nice on the game one. Hall of Famer Mariano Rivera. I need to pick up his rookie card. I was actually watching one on eBay recently. The 92 Bowman card. Eric has it. He's had it for a long time. I've been eyeing that one up for quite a while. Very nice Revere in that stack. Some nice insert cards so far. A couple guys that not too many people remember, but uh, some nice ones overall. 
And it seems like we have another mantle insert in here. There it is again. Another mantle insert. Home run one. Pretty interesting, but yeah, I definitely think they should have used a different design for each one. Hader Jones, Gold Glove Award, Mark Teixeira, and Maddox again. We've seen those earlier in the break. Joseph C. says, was that a Tom Gorzolani? Um, no, not in that pack. Eric Plunk's twin. <laughs> oh, jeez. See Bobby Cox in here. JT Snow. Somebody, uh, I think it was Craig. Um, Craig Olay just sent me JT Snow on card auto. He got through the mail when he was a little kid. I was definitely part of the JT Snow craze back then. And Declaration of Independence insert card here. Richard Stockton for that one. Julian Tavares, Corey Koski, and Brandon Pena. Ends that stack out. Hopefully we'll pull uh, Jonathan H. A. Bernard Gilkey relic. It's his favorite player. Melvin Mora. Russell Brandon. I'm sure he's probably kind of upset that we haven't seen one yet. Another insert card here for the Barry Bonds home run chase. 684. Nice one there. Michael Bartlett and Maddox. Edmonds, Gold Glove Award, and the Ramirez and David Ortiz. Ends that stack out. $2 from Lloyd Abraham. That says, sending some love from Canada. Hello, all. Well, thanks a lot, Lloyd Abraham. Thanks for being here. I appreciate your support and your super chat. I'm not sure if he's a channel or not, but uh, please give him a sub. Click on that uh, super chat and go to the channel. Give him a sub, help him grow his channel. And I'll do the same. Mike Cameron... Sorry, this lighting is still kind of crappy in here. Let me move this over a little bit. And that's a little bit better. Mike Cameron, Troy Gloss, Joe McEwing, another mantle insert card. Home run number one again. I feel like we keep seeing the home run number one. I feel like these are all the same ones we pulled. That's like the ninth one I want to say we pulled out of this box so far. Eighth or ninth. And could be soon to be Hall of Fame original. Or Larry Walker, it's, it's possible. Ends that pack off. Boom Slang says, Yo, John, by the way, I ate the gum from the 89 pack you sent me. You know, I watched that video earlier, Boom Slang. <laughs> I was worried about you for a second there, and you took off to the bathroom. Yeah, some of that uh, older gum, I feel like I've eaten a good bit of it over the years, and some of it is a lot worse than others. RM says, It will be a travesty if Larry Walker doesn't make the Hall of Fame. Car Everett. Dalton says, I believe there's a Verlander rookie in this set. Um, yeah, it, it's, he's in Series 2. Frank Robinson. Sean Estes and Dontrell Willis. Tops 2K All-Stars. We saw pool holes earlier in this uh, break. It was very nice. Dontrell Willis. This freaking lighting is crap in this room. Sorry, you guys. Bear with me here until I get back into my toy room. It's a giant mess right now. Miguel Tejada, Melvin Mora, Luis Gonzalez, and Mark Redman. We've seen that uh, same rotation there before. Hey, Rocket Gaming. Dustin says, do you think you're going to get any hits? Uh, we have three packs left. I hope so. And Paul also I used to imitate Will's pitching stance when I was younger. That's pretty awesome. Hey, Vesture. Thanks again for being here, guys. Another insert in here. Looks like a Topps Gold card coming up. One in every 18 packs. Hopefully it's a prominent player. Orlando... Hudson there, Jason Bay, Matt Stairs, and it's a Derek Lee Gold Glove Award card. So probably the best Topps Gold card we've seen so far tonight. David Eckstein. Two packs left for our good buddy John H. And Derek Lee was definitely a decent Topps Gold pull, though, for the first series. Bobby Abreu leads this one off. A lot of inserts in this box. Boom Slang says, tell you what, as part of my 100,000 subs, I'll eat the gum from the 1972 pack I opened. So, guys, hurry up and get there before that gum gets any older. <laughs> there you had it. I heard it. Uh, Boom Slang, 100,000 sub challenge, eating a stick of 1972 gum. That sounds very dangerous. 
Very dangerous. <laughs> That'll definitely put hair on your chest. Boom Slang says for a thousand subs, he'll do that. So another, uh, what, 400 some subs, and he will eat a stick of 1972 gum. That is uh, gonna be very interesting once that happens. There's a the professor, Carl Crawford. Definitely put hair in your chest doing that. Last pack of tonight's break for 06 Tops for Jonathan H. Yeah, I'd like to see Larry Walker get in myself. There's no Morgan. I haven't seen that in a while. Same rotation as the very first pack. We opened Barry Zito and Pedro J. Clemens. It's like literally the identical pack to the first one. And we have a Bonds. 665 home run chase card. Vernon Wells and a couple gold glove cards, Bobby Abreu and Ichiro. So a couple we haven't seen yet overall. I would say definitely um, worth the 30 bucks, 30 to 40 bucks you pay for a box for a chance to get a bunch of insert cards, possibly autographs. Not a whole lot of good rookies in the Series 1, but Series 2 has the Verlander and some others as well. But overall, fun break. I want to thank you guys for hanging out, being a part of it. Um... More videos for you later on this week. Thanks for hanging out and uh, the Super Chats and just you guys being here in general. I'll see you all very soon. Have a great night.